power of hair. Hair is a form of personal identity and expression for many people. Across the world, hair has represented status, class, and even professionalism. But throughout history, and still today, it has also been the target of discrimination. According to a Dove Research study, black women's hair, two and a half times more likely to be perceived as unprofessional. As a result, two-thirds of black women change their hair for a job interview. 25% of black women under 35 believe they have been denied a job interview simply because of their hair. Chastity Jones was tangled in a nearly 10-year legal battle after she says an employer took back a job offer at an Alabama call center because she refused to cut her hair. It had nothing to do with the job. I, I knew the job or you wouldn't have hired me. Um, it just had everything to do with my hair. This was not a unique experience. It's why the Crown Act was created. That stands for creating a respectful and open world for natural hair. The legislation is at work across the nation, aiming to end hair-based discrimination for all Americans. Five years ago today, California Governor Gavin Newsom said he was proud to lead the nation by being the first to sign the Crown Act into law. There's a human element to this. We don't want to diminish people. We don't want to demean people. We have to own up to the sins of the past. And I hope that folks are paying attention all across this country. Now, a victory for people in that state with natural hair. But some say it's disappointing that it was necessary at all. Do you guys feel like the Crown Act is necessary? Yes. Oh, absolutely necessary. Absolutely. How sad that we actually even have to have a act that says it's okay for you to wear your hair how it naturally grows out of your head like we have to have a law about that that's crazy mm. now since 2019 the crown act has been passed in 26 states and 50 local cities and towns have passed similar ordinances and charlotte is one of those cities our city passed a new non-discrimination ordinance back in 2021 in the, um, it applies to all employers in charlotte no matter the size banning them from discriminating against a person based on sexual orientation, gender identity or gender expression, veterans, and those who wear natural hairstyles. It is important to me, being a native Charlottean, being a black, cisgender, pansexual woman with natural hair, to be able to go into a workplace and not be told to tone it down that I'm too ethnic. At a federal level, the Crown Act passed the U.S. House of Representatives in 2022. However, it was blocked in the Senate. It was reintroduced this year in both the House and the Senate. We'll have to wait and see if Congress will take up that legislation again. Coming up.